Happy Thursday. How's everybody doing? It's your boy Adam X Millie dashing in for a Destiny 2 video. How's everybody doing? This place is an old and to start off the video, just wanted to give a shout out to it's the original Destiny. Um, this actually, this first mission here, when you first start in after you've chosen which subclass you want, Titan, Hunter, or Warlock, you'll start this mission. And this mission was actually, it's not the exact same as it was in the original Destiny, because obviously Peter Dinklage was the original voice of the Ghost. So once Nolan North took over, um, I feel like they had to to uh, change that just to make it more current. Um, but in Destiny 2, you start this mission and it is almost identical. So we uh, are right from the grave, find our first firearm, Kinetic Kazostov. 7G02, and let me tell you, that is a dependable weapon right there. Uh, the, in the original Destiny, actually, you can acquire an exotic version of this weapon. I can't remember exactly what the stats were and all that, but I remember doing that quest line, and it was, it was cool. It's pretty cool, um, which is why Destiny 2 is so popular and why the final shape is on its way, and that's really what these videos are here that I'm going to be posting are about the uh, how to get your toes wet in Destiny, how to start it, where to go, just kind of following the storyline, skipping cutscenes to save, and just kind of talk a little bit about what it's like playing Destiny 2 for the first time. So we're going in here, we got our first energy weapon, got a shotgun right there, super lethal. Um, But the, uh, if you're not familiar with the, uh, the real classes of each, the Fallen uh, is what we're currently fighting right here. They are pretty much space pirates in that uh, in the cutscene and your when you first start up, um, it definitely goes into detail what's going on. Not really super in detail, but to, to get you aware of what's been going on. So once you start this, you can complete these missions multiple steps to it so you get credit for doing all them but it's really great way to learn how to use your particular subclass so Titan right here using the Fist of Havoc creating some orbs would have been super super helpful for teammates because they can pick up those those orbs and uh, charge up their super as well but it's just kind of going through the environments the changes how enemies react uh, there's a little bit of a little item right here this is spin metal it's found on the cosmodrome the edz you can pick this bad boy up and get some glimmer which glimmer is the lifeblood of uh, acquiring bounties another chest right there clutch but uh we're gonna be fighting the fallen walker more spin metal right there yo um the walker right here this is the fallen's uh, ground tank for the six legs you have to shoot the legs to knock that son of a bitch down his neck will open up and then you'll shoot his neck and uh, do some considerable damage. And uh, in Destiny 1, the original, I actually had the opportunity to play the Alpha. So the, uh, the Walker is actually uh, the ground vehicle that you fight in the original Alpha when you're doing the Devil's Lair Strike, which they have the Devil's Lair Strike as well, but I think it's a different name of it. Uh, so it's not exactly the same from Destiny 1. We can do a finisher right there. Get him dirty. Punch him right in the face, man. But the Titan is definitely the tank for the fire team. Uh, greater armor, great recovery. It's just a pretty solid, not super fast, but with your gear and your weapons, you can definitely make your Titan to be whatever you want it to be. Um, doing some damage right there, got that song. Yeah. If you're hearing this, rendezvous with the following coordinates. Shanks flying. There's different types of shanks. Sniper shanks. Uh, explosive shanks. But the Fallen, um, they actually have deep ties to the Traveler as well. If you didn't see that in the cutscene, the Traveler actually left them, and they've been chasing him ever since. There's also a campaign uh, with Aramis where you get the 
subclass Stasis, which was a new subclass which hadn't really seen in a while. But oh, oh, what is that? What is that? It looks like a regional chest. I forgot about that. Look at that. Cha Ching. If you haven't gotten that, what do you get? What do you get? Ooh, 2500 glimmer. That is helpful. But as we carry on here, we are trying to find Shaw. I did bypass the cutscene, as I said, so we're just going to be jumping into it. And uh, he'll give you your next sequence of uh, requirements. Because they, they really want to get you just in the gameplay, seeing how, a different, how different enemies attack, how you can attack, leverage... Um, different ground, different attack style, moving around, having to location. look for things. Like there's a lot of unwritten things that you'll have to keep an eye on, different things. Right here the power level that weapon I picked up, but right here your artifact, super super important that you read what you're choosing. You can you can uh, head back, you can reset it as you can see along the bottom right there. Um, but if you read and you really think about what weapons you you like to use, so if you like auto rifles, you can choose an auto rifle perk for your artifact. If you like shotguns, LMGs, so you, you have those opportunities to make those decisions, and as well as subclass abilities, different damage types, different things that you can do to help help your overall just power in the game. So that artifact is really awesome. I'm actually super glad they have that. It's it's like a doesn't we don't really have to have it but it is great to have it because it's just it adds depth to the game and if there's not enough depth in the game now my goodness there's so much depth and that's kind of why this game is still so popular you can play all kinds of crazy different things different play styles different groups different types of people different enemy types challenging enemies things like that learn here how to hack systems you have to protect areas, keep those things alive, keep your ghosts. Um, but it's really, it's a really uh, in-depth game. And this first part here, you don't, you have to actually experience it and do it. And it's pretty solid. That barrier again, you can change it in your settings. Make it only a half shield instead of the full one, which is nice. That way you can shoot around it rather than having to step out to the outside of it. Damn. Little things, little nuances. Last no locations are nowhere near each other. Shaw, I have a feeling. I have a feeling that it's not it's not good, bud. So now we're venturing out into the, the wide open the craziness of the scale more enemies dancing around more area to cover more things to discover if you spend your time oh what we got here this saves running time for sure and you got guns so it's pretty fun and if you actually press a uh, right bumper or left bumper or r1 or l1 you can actually dodge side to side and it will use a uh, it will send out a little a little bomb there to send out the enemies Once we reach this objective up here, we're going to have to go and get some keys, codes. Oh, there you go. There's Looks a ball. Like a ball of death. Or keep something in. There's worse than dregs in old Russia. Let's check out the control unit. This is so now they're in spec. So now we have to go and we'll take out some enemies. Bypass to find the way to open the door there. Um, so pretty much what this is, is you're going to have to hunt down some servitors and some shanks. Servitors are uh, shield shield giving machines for the fallen. Once you find a yellow bar servitor, you'll know what they are. No, it's a, it's just a big ball, purple eye. I see why they're such a big deal. 
taking him down with that shotgun. Love me some shotgun. <laughs> One shot, gone. There you are, you ugly son of a bitch. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to do this three times. Once you get those keys, you'll run out back up top. But they're all pretty, pretty uh, close together. They just want you to see different mechanics. Because once you do that, the nightfall and later strikes and, and those things, you'll have to do different mechanics. You'll have to know what needs to be happening and how to uh, take down and survive. Because you can respawn, which is helpful, but not in every situation you have that ability to respawn. So keep that in mind. So we get this bad boy done. And then that is going to do it for today's video. And if you like the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Have a great rest of your day. And always remember, God bless.